Today my purpose is talking to you about your physical and occupational therapy care for your new joint replacement. Part of that program is that you are prepared as much as you can be prior to surgery. Another program that Chester County Hospital offers is that you could receive physical therapy prior to your surgery. This is very important because patients who have better flexibility, including range of motion of the knee or hip and strength of the total leg, tend to do better after surgery. You can get this physical therapy by asking your family physician for a referral. His referral for osteoarthritis would get you physical therapy two to three times a week until surgery. Typically, you would want at least three weeks prior to surgery uh, to begin this. More is better, however. Part of that program at Ch Chester County Hospital is the Start Strong, Stay Strong program. In that program, you will be evaluated for range of motion and strength and be uh, programmed by the physical therapist to complete the exercises as needed. We do have a hot water swimming pool in our Fernhill office, and that may also be part of your rehabilitation prior to surgery. You're entering the last phase of your rehabilitation, and that is your outpatient service. Once you're finished with home care, you'll need to make arrangements to have outpatient physical therapy at an outpatient clinic. Chester County Hospital has three easy and convenient programs and clinics in the Chester County area. We have one clinic in Exton at the Commons at Oaklands. We have one in the Fern Hill Medical Office Building. And we have another in the Kennett Square New Garden Medical Office Building. All of the therapists at those locations are highly experienced and have been in the field for at least 10 years. We see most of the total joint replacements coming out of Chester County Hospital and therefore have a great deal of experience in order to get you back on your feet again. This is where you provide your ultimate goals and your function of daily life and the activities that you hope to achieve, whether it be walking, golfing, gardening, or just relaxing around your house and ambulating in your neighborhood. Those are the things that you need to tell your physical therapist about and they will custom tailor your program in outpatient physical therapy to achieve that. Typically, physical therapy is three times a week for about four to six weeks. Most people come about 14 to 16 visits, and at that time, they are discharged at about 90% of their capabilities. That 90% will get you everything that you want to achieve in your goals. However, typically knee patients don't have quite the range of motion in their knee that they could have, and the leg still needs a little bit more strength. During your physical therapy in the clinic, especially at Fern Hill, they will work with you with the possibility of using our pool program. Our aquatic pool at Fern Hill is a hot water pool at 92 degrees of water the air temperature is 86 degrees, and it is a saltwater pool, so it is good on the skin. Our physical therapist and physical therapist assistant are in the water with you at all times so that you get very close supervised care of the exercises that you need to have. Now, your primary therapist who evaluates you on day one may say aquatics is a good part of your program, and you may have that two times a week with dry land exercises one time a week. That may progress to two treatments on land, one in water, and eventually all of your exercises on land. It's not an easy program. We will push you, and with the goal of reaching your knee flexibility and your leg strength so that you can function the way you need to. You'll need to give the therapist feedback as to how you feel you're doing, and they will give you feedback how they think you're doing. Now, ultimately, you'll be discharged from formal physical therapy. Now what do you do? How do you take care of your leg from then on? It's a new joint. You just need to keep the muscles, ligaments, and tendons strong and preserve the joint replacement, the actual prosthesis. There are several things that you will need to do and that are critical for the long-term care because this joint is for you. This joint is for you for life and it will last you 15 to 20 years. 
One of the things that we encourage people to do is to make sure you wear good, comfortable, cushioned, tied shoes. These usually are sneakers of some sort, whether they are running sneakers or walking sneakers. They have a good arch support and that they are laced up really helps keep the foot under control so that every impact that you make with the ground with walking is cushioned. The next thing we encourage people to do is keep your legs strong. It's important that the entire leg, including all of the hip muscles, the thigh muscles, and the calf muscles are very strong. This requires weight lifting, not just walking or riding a bicycle, but actual weight lifting. Whether you do it at the YMCA or at the gym you choose, it's important that the entire leg stay strong. The third item is important in that you need to keep your weight down. Your body weight is critical because all of that gravity pushes on a new prosthesis. In doing so, if you lose five pounds, that decreases your weight and pressure on the new prosthesis by 15 pounds. So as you can see, it's very important that you have good nutrition and routine exercise just to burn the calories and keep your weight down. All of this mobility should keep your joint for life and make you uh, happy with the outcome that you've achieved with the hard work that you do and that the rehabilitation team pushes you towards. Now the hospital also has two programs to help you with this joint for life. One is our aquatics joint for life. If you were in the water and did like it, we have a program on Tuesdays and Thursdays where you can join other patients who have had joint replacements and they too are doing exercises for an hour in the water with a the therapist that helped you before. It's a great program. Some patients have been with the program for over two years. Another program is our next step program. What is your next step? Well, if you're not comfortable joining a gym or going to the Y in a large setting, you can still come to the physical therapy clinic that you were at, pay a nominal fee, and use all of the equipment at your leisure. You can come five days a week, and you can have access to the supervising physical therapist. You're allowed to use the equipment the way you used it before, and you'll get in safe instruction on how to do that. That's just one way for us to provide a service to you to keep that leg in, in shape. It's a two-month limited program, and after that we encourage people to join their gym or to join the YMCA to keep up with this kind of program. It's important. Your leg and your joint have to be strong and stable. We wish you luck with your new joint. We're hoping that Chester County Hospital's Department of Rehabilitation can help you and we look forward to seeing you both pre-surgery and post-surgery.